Yeah, they look great, Anne-Marie. Uh, Shakira Richardson is top ranked in the world in the 100 meter. She has the best time in the world in the 100 meter this year, just set it at trials weekend. She's expected to uh, be a gold medal favorite in Paris, and so is Noah Lyles in that same event. We have not seen... Who's the fastest guy? Who's the fastest girl? Come on, if you think you're better than me, race me. In just a few days, the world will witness yet another summer games happening in the French capital. With Noah Lyles and Shakari Richardson, partaking in their respective races. There, the two are looking forward to getting their first Olympic gold medal. Although both Noah and Shakari already own their respective World Championships gold medals, they are yet to own one from the biggest stage of them all, or the biggest track meet, if you want to be more specific. Some say that either, or both, of them getting that much coveted Olympic gold is highly likely, even if they have to defeat their Jamaican rivals to do that. After all, when it comes to the rich history of track and field, two nations are at the center of it, America and Jamaica. While America's dominance was prevalent in the 100-meter event for years, the first time the nation clinched a gold in both men's and women's was at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Although Carl Lewis originally clinched a silver by clocking in 9.92 seconds, he was awarded the gold after the disqualification of Canada's Ben Johnson. What's more, Lewis's time was recognized as a world record. The women's 100-meter win wasn't as dramatic, however, but it was no less explosive. Florence Griffith Joyner blazed through to the finish line in 10.54 seconds, claiming a shiny Olympic gold at the 1988 Summer Games. Dubbed the fastest woman ever, her time set a new world record that still stands today. But this was the only season where America had won two golds in the men's and women's events. It's been 36 years since then, but fans are now hopeful of history repeating itself with Lyles and Richardson heading over to Paris. As the Athletic National Managing Editor Zach Pierce said, We have not seen an American man and woman both win the 100 meter uh, since 2000, although Marion Jones was later stripped of that of that medal. So it's been a long time since uh, we've had a, a pair of 100-meter sprinters with this kind of expectation and this kind of hope in this country. In fact, Sports Illustrated predicted the number of gold medals for Team USA, which includes Lyles and Richardson, at the 2024 Paris Olympics. As they do before every Olympics, the American sports magazine released its medal predictions for all 329 events across all sports at the Olympics. USA track and field athletes are predicted to bring home 18 gold medals. 18 gold, that wouldn't be so easy, right? But since those who are going to Paris in the first place are those who have already made their mark in their sport, a handful of medals is to be expected. And are we even surprised that Lyles and Richardson have been named as the strongest competitors in the 100 meter? Some people might not agree with all the predicted winners in various events, but Noah and Shakari remain the crowd favorite to win the 100 meter gold medals. The question is whether or not they will be able to live up to people's sky high expectations. After all, there are big races and then there are the Olympics. That said, what Richardson and Lyles, along with the other athletes, did on the way to Paris wouldn't mean much. What will matter is how they respond to pressure when the spotlight is on. Will they end up shining as brightly as Usain Bolt or Carl Lewis, whose knack for performing when Olympic gold medals were at stake turned them into larger-than-life icons? Or will they be among the countless others who, despite being among the best performers of their generation, are still looking to parlay all that talent into a spot at the top of the Olympic podium? It can be recalled how Lyle said, Right now, I do not hold a gold medal in the Olympics. He never made a secret of the fact that he counts the bronze medal he won in the 200 meters at the Tokyo Games among his biggest disappointments. It's bronze. It is the reason I have so many gold medals right now. Uh, it's the reason I'm a six-time world champion, I would say. I feel that if I would have won that day, I would have become a little content in who I was. Well, that's that. Now, he will have another chance to reach the finish line first in Paris. I have multiple world championships and national championships as well. The only one that's missing from the list is an Olympic gold, he said. 
and I'm planning on leaving with a lot of those. With the way he basically flew to the finish line during the US trials, that wouldn't be too lofty a dream. As a matter of fact, it probably won't be considered an exaggeration since if the US Olympic team trials, track and field are any indication, Team USA is set for a historic showing at the coming Olympic Games, Paris 2024 in athletics. Shakari clocked a season's best of 10.71 in the women's 100 meter, while Lyles did the sprint double, winning both the 100 meter and 200 meter finals to keep alive his promise of four golds at the games. A longtime admirer of Bolt, Lyles has expressed his desire to break the Jamaican's long-standing records in the 100 meter and 200 meter events. I've always known that I'm the fastest man in the world, he told the media after his triumph in Hungary. Well, in my head, I think I'm going to break it. I'm planning to break it. As you all know, the American champion has lofty goals, winning four gold medals by adding the four by 400 meter relay to his repertoire at the global showpiece. Zoe and Kitley discuss the possibility of America winning a 100 meter gold medal at the Paris Olympics. Kitley explained how the 100 meter dash is a cut above the rest for him, and this is the event he is most looking forward to. He clarified that based on statistics, Lyles is now second in the odds of winning gold. Kitley also believes Shakari Richardson could turn things around. She's a heavy favorite to win the women's, he said. However, it won't be too easy seeing that she will be facing off against Tokyo bronze medalist Sharika Jackson and eight-time Olympic medalist Shelly Ann Fraser-Price in the French capital. Just in case you missed it, Jackson effortlessly ran to victory in 10.24 seconds at the Jamaican Olympic trials, while Fraser-Price came in third with 10.84 seconds. Nevertheless, fans remain optimistic about a winning time from the American sprint star. Even seven-time Olympic gold medalist Allison Felix has expressed her confidence in Shakari's abilities. Um, I think that she has an amazing chance to win gold. Um, she's really in perfect position. She did amazing. It will be a great competition in Paris, but I think um, Shakari is really positioned well. Likewise, Felix is rooting for Lyles. We know Noah likes to talk, so he said he wants all the gold medals, so we want to see it happen. Overall, with the Summer Games taking center stage from July 27th, the world's fastest athletes will be gearing up for arguably the most coveted event in athletics. As you all know, the 100-meter sprint is the climax of any Olympics, with eight runners pitted against each other in a fiercely contested battle. However, it looks like there are two clear favorites to return home with the titles this year. Noah Lyles and Shakari Richardson have their eyes firmly fixed on gold ahead of the men's and women's 100-meter finals at Paris 2024. Lyles, who represents Team USA, beat his PB with a blistering time of 9.81 seconds at the recently concluded 2024 London Diamond League. And yet the 27-year-old is known more for his prowess over the 200-meter distance holding the American record with a time of 19.31 seconds, the fourth fastest in history. His transition to the 100-meter race, though, has only brought him more success, as he now sits in prime position to steal the show in Paris. Shikari, on the other hand, is another valuable asset for Team USA, who will be making her Olympic debut at the age of 24. She, among her strong Jamaican rivals, is dreaming of breaking the world record of 10.49 seconds set by Florence Griffith Joyner in 1988. Still, it is Richardson who is arguably the frontrunner to finally break it. How ready are Lyles and Richardson for the Olympics? Watch this to find out.